praxis and yes we still have all of these braces still on this area is getting completed but we still want to kind of hold the ceiling together as best we can until we get the walls in here just myself here today Josh uh, fell ill partway through the day yesterday uh, so he left a little bit early and I haven't seen him today so I'm presuming he's not feeling well uh, so I've just been working on uh, trying to get everything ready for putting on the outside foam. Yesterday I was doing all the window openings, the sills, and all that kind of stuff, getting them all uh, boarded up so that the foam on the outside could get nailed down into them. And I got everything with the exception of these windows up on the top level done. I finished up this one earlier this morning. I got the top of this guy done, uh, the header up at the top over there. And I just got to do the bottom of it over here. And it's made with uh, just these boards here. It's three, uh, three two by fours. And I've been using the not so pretty ones. In fact, this one's got a bunch of nail holes in it. This was probably used as a brace. You know, one of these guys at one point. Uh, I've been using the not so pretty ones, kind of sandwiching them in there. And uh, they're going to go in here. And then there's going to be a kind of a windowsill over on top of it. So you'll never even see that anyway. So I've been working on those. We have uh, we have some rain coming in. Uh, tomorrow we're supposed to get quite a bit of rain, three quarters of an inch, maybe up to an inch of rain, which makes me feel like, you know, why am I working on these when, man, I could, I could get some headway on this ceiling. Uh, you know, Josh was supposed to be here today, he's not, um, uh, so the, the ceiling isn't being done, but I, I'm holding off on it, and the reason that I'm holding off on it is because, uh, you know, there's certain things that I'm able to do, and there's certain things that Josh is able to, well, actually, I suppose I can do anything on the project, but there are certain things that Josh is able to do at this point. Uh, you know, he's new to all this. I've been training him, you know, with, with my knowledge of what I've picked up last time and, you know, through my various projects and things. So, uh, you know, there's certain things that Josh is able to do and other things that I haven't told him how to do yet. Doing the roofing material, uh, the ceiling material, that's something that Josh can do and he's been doing it really, really well. So. I'm still kind of focusing on the things that, you know, I haven't trained Josh how to do, you know, the more meticulous stuff, the stuff that requires knowledge of the plans and the, you know, the way that the whole thing goes together. Uh, and I'm leaving that for him, even though he's not here today and I'd love to get it in because, you know, we got rain coming. Uh, I'm trying to leave that for him. And uh, th it makes me think about, like, just the entire project in general. When you build your homestead, if you're hiring people, you know, especially people that, you know, don't have a lot of experience, you have to be very uh, thoughtful about the jobs that you give people. You know, just because you're paying someone money, just because you've hired them, doesn't mean that they automatically know everything, especially if they came onto the job saying, you know, I don't know everything, but I'd be happy to learn. You know, so you can't expect people to know everything right off the bat. And it takes time and it takes effort to train people on things. And time is, you know, a commodity that you don't always have as much as you would like when you're doing a project like this. So it kind of makes sense to, you know, put people on certain types of things that are kind of repetitive, a little bit redundant, and, you know, you can show them once and they can do a bunch of it. Hence, you know, all these ceiling boards. Once I showed Josh how to do the basic idea, you know, he's been going up and it's just, it's the same process over and over and occasionally he just uh, does a measurement check at both ends. Uh, to make sure that you know one side's not getting ahead of the other, and he's doing little like little sight uh, checks, just looking along, making sure the row is looking straight, it's not slumping anywhere. So that was pretty uh, a pretty quick thing to teach him how to do. Uh, but you know, there's other things where it, it kind of it would take longer to teach how to do it than it would to just do it yourself. So I'm saving those kind of things for myself. But sometimes it you know puts you in a situation where you don't have the help and you want to have something done. But it makes sense to save it for people so that they can, you know, have stuff to do and you don't have to go through training them on something else right away when maybe you don't have time and you've got to be working on other things. So just something to think about when you're building your homestead and you're hiring people in. Think about the projects that they can do. Uh, think about the projects that they can't do. And make sure that you're balancing things and having things that, you know, are happening at the same time. Some things that they can do, some things that you can do. That's it. Thanks for watching.